Here we go, attempt one of my philosophy documentary. Perception is the lens. Perception is the lens through which each person views life. It is the ability to hear, see, smell, touch, or become aware of something through the body senses. Perception influences the way we focus on, process, remember, interpret, analyze, and act on reality. Perception is what we are seeing. Reality is what is happening. Perception can be fluid and moldable, while reality is concrete and definite. People have the tendency to believe that how they perceive reality is an accurate representation of what reality truly is, referred to as an assumption. An assumption is a truth that each brain forms in response to its perception, but it is important to remember that assumptions are not the absolute truth. This social experiment will demonstrate the basics of human perception versus reality. Each subject will make different assumptions that can later be challenged by reality. These two people are complete strangers who have never seen each other. They have no idea who is sitting behind them, what they look like, or what their personality is. As they have a conversation, their ears will receive the information which their brains will automatically interpret and use to form an image of the person who is speaking. This is the first time that these people have seen each other. They will not speak. Instead, their assumptions of each other will be based purely from their sense of sight. The biggest issue with perceptions, which leads to false assumptions, is that the senses can deceive the brain. Humans have little reason to question their senses, even though there is much more truth to the world than what our senses can comprehend. The extent of our senses' abilities is blocked by many internal and external factors, and their explanations are limited to direct results of past experiences and neural pathways. <clears throat> Everything in the world can be viewed in two ways. Objectivity is an unchanging truth not dependent on perception. Subjectivity is how an individual perceives something or understands it to be. Within this experiment, each person will have objective qualities such as their height and age. However, their partner can subjectively interpret them in a different way. As in all instances, this subjective opinion is due to a lack of full knowledge. This experiment demonstrates how even our senses cannot understand all objective knowledge eyes, wrinkles and blemishes, but they cannot definitively know eyes can see wrinkles and blemishes, but they cannot definitively know the age of another being. As such, no one could ever know the objectivity or truth of another person without stepping into their skin. This experiment shows that although the senses are not wrong, they only provide enough information to create an assumption rather than know a fact. Sense of hearing can also be deceiving in many ways. It may, be, it may be influenced by tone, accent, volume, or emphasis. There are two parts to an assumption, inference and implication. A statement can make implications, but a person hearing that statement can infer something that was not implied. Each subject's perception is challenged as they start to see more. Each subject's perception is challenged as they start to see more of reality. In this instance, the differences between reality and the assumptions based on their perception are obvious. As they talked, they knew their idea of the other person was possibly wrong. However, in most real-world scenarios, most people think there is no difference between perception and reality. This presumption allows them to make critical mistakes and misjudgments of the world around them. Misused perception is the biggest fault of human society. It destroys relationships, starts wars, creates conflict, and splits people apart. Luckily, assuming the wrong colour of someone's shirt is not likely to turn violent, but this experiment only works at a shallow level of perception. How can we, as humans, determine what is truly reality? English philosopher John Locke had a theory that explained how he could understand the existence of objects. He says that each thing has primary and secondary properties. Primary qualities are things that the physical objects themselves have, mass, solidity, density. Secondary qualities are ideas in each viewer's mind. It is impossible to view primary qualities without also viewing secondary qualities. Georgia could not know that a person was behind her if she did not hear his voice. The secondary quality of sound allowed her to understand the primary quality of mass. 
However, this experiment showed us that interpretations can be wrong and assumptions I haven't finished that thought. However, this experiment showed us the interpretations are limited. So, we have seen how the way we perceive things in the world can lead to false assumptions, even if we believe our perceptions to be reality. So, we have seen the way... So we have seen the way how we perceive things in the world can lead to false assumptions, even if we believe our perceptions to be reality. This now poses some deeper questions. Is the sky really blue? Or is that just the way we all perceive it to be and there is nothing to challenge our view on reality? Does the sky itself know what colour it is? Even if we can scientifically prove that the sky is blue... Even if we can scientifically prove that the sky is blue, that is only the reality for science. The true reality of an object is only known by the beholder. Furthermore, it is possible for a reality to change. Donna can stop liking books, which will in turn affect Aaron's view of Don. Furthermore, it is possible for a reality to change. Donna can stop liking books, which will in turn affect Aaron's view of her. Aaron has built an image in her head based off the knowledge that Donna likes books. Has this reality of hers now turned into an assumption? Aaron would now need a deeper level of perception and knowledge to know Donna's reality. Clearly, people make assumptions of other people, but this experiment also demonstrates how our entire lives may be based on assumptions. Our minds are only able to create assumptions and no level of perception is able to form a picture of reality. Maybe you have assumed the meaning of this video based on what you saw and heard, that was your perception. But the video possibly had its own reality that only it will ever be able to comprehend.